other side. Five, yes, okay. yes, yes. Cash. Thank Four, you. $40 full. $4 full. Perfect. Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. I hope you're doing fabulous today. Another day another vlogtober video guys so i am going to be taking in the view of the city the view of new york while i finish up finally finish reading the boyfriend guys so that's how we are going to be starting the day today but why my car disturbing me but i hope you guys have been enjoying the vlogtober videos so far i have not missed a day i've had up days down days but all throughout we were rocking with each other through and through so thank you guys so much for coming along on this journey i tried this last year and i missed the days so this year not missing a single day is top tier vibes top top tier vibes if you are new over here welcome to my channel i am alicia kim sit back relax enjoy the vlogs get caught up with some older videos so we can become more familiar with each other and to my big up crew go on do did do, do you know my love you already right so i have been you know what i noticed since I've been here in Jersey, when I was in Florida, I used to carry around my, my little bags so I could do crossbody. But I have not been wanting to leave without a little tote bag or this bag. Now that I'm in Jersey, I think it's because I carry around more. I don't know. I know in New York, it's a thing where they say the girls are always rocking their tote bags. I must agree. Because I... I have been loving this bag so much. It's from Timu, by the way. So, there is that. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to start off by overlooking this city. I think when you are in New York, you don't get to appreciate the view of all the buildings. You have to come into Jersey to get the nice view of New York. So, that's what I'm going to do. I have my water bottle filled with the water. And I'm wearing the... I'm wearing one of my Adidas hoodies and it's so comfortable, so soft on the inside and I got it in a medium and I'm happy because it's big, it's cozy and I just love the vibe. First thing I'm going to do is to grab a coffee. There are so many restaurants and little cafes out here with outdoor seating, but I'm going to grab a to go and go enjoy the view. committed to getting a matcha until I saw this which looks so pretty he said to give it a good little stir so now that I have my drink I can just chill reading the boyfriend but what was that ending the book was good i don't want to get into it because i know a few of you probably still reading but frida 
what was that ending it was really good though so now that i'm finished reading i think it's time to make another bookstore stop why did i get a parking ticket for 43 dollars what a way to end off the month so i paid for a parking i used park mobile but apparently they had signs up saying they are reserving the parking spaces from within a certain time frame and i guess i didn't i didn't make it back to my car in time what a waste of money because the thing is you know i came back to the car with about 20 minutes of parking remaining so i felt good so when i I drove off and then I saw the paper on my thing and I'm like, what is that? So I pulled over, looked at it, big parking tickets. The offenses were no parking, no parking emergency, temporary zone. So that's another thing here in New Jersey. You got to pay attention to the signs. And the thing is, the signs are way over one part, way over the sub pantry or something. Anyway, I'm making a quick stop, guys. I am hosting a little spooky movie night at the apartment. So I need to get a few things food-wise. I do have, I have pizzas. I have, you'll see when I go home, I have pizza, I have chips. But I want to make like a dip or I want to do something with the, the chips. I want to make a few things. So I'm going to grab, I need cheese, maybe nachos. A bottle of wine some snacks so i'm going to do these two pizzas this one they're from aldi it's their halloween theme ones and this one that's shaped like a ghost so it's their ghost pizza and then i got the hol the uh, pumpkin shaped one so that i'll be doing those two then i'm going to do some chips and dip and I have the fall leaves from Trader Joe's, which is so cute. The fall colors and also shaped like leaves. So yeah, I'm going to do that and then a bottle of wine. So moving it should be good. That is that. No, I want to, well, I'm going to put these in the oven and uh, these should be 20 minutes and they should be done but I want to do the unboxing for you the Target 12 days of beauty so let's do that now as you know this is an advent calendar thing so you should be opening one per day but I'm not doing that I do not have the patience and I want to see what's inside plus I know you want to see what's inside I will link it down below in case you want to grab it uh okay so 12 days of beauty guys let's start with day number uno day number one and what's this a festive nail sticker so that's it it's just little stickers to do your little nail art cutesy stuff okay we'll start off a very team Target, we start off very tame. Number two, oh, it has the eye on it, so I'm assuming this is something for the eyes. Oh, this is from e.l.f., it's their Power Grip Primer. So that is it. Number three is from NYX NYX, and it's the Marshmallow Setting Spray. Oh, that's cute. So, that's that number four this is so fun Ooh, i needed more of these a beauty blender cinco looks really tiny that's number five right here it's a lip gloss i know what this is it's from look how tiny it is so tiny but these are butter glass they are so good it's from nyx and let me put a little bit on why not so we got a little tiny butter glass, lip gloss. Now we are at number six, which looks like a big one. That's number six. I'm trying to hurry because the battery is dying. Ooh, 
No, this is what I'm talking about. We got some makeup wipes, guys. And these are the ones I actually use, the Neutrogena wipes. Seven is... What is this? My cellular cleansing oil. And it's in the tiniest little packaging. So tiny. The number eight, which looks like a good size right here. This top tier. It's the Lumify eye drops and this it whitened the whites in your eyes if you look tired if you are hungover if you didn't sleep i used to use these all the time it does have a drying effect so it does make my eyes feel a little bit dry but the whites being extra white it's worth it on those days and of course you know it's a little tiny size but this is it that's number nine right here is this look like a good size bottle it is from elf and it's their stay all night blue light micro setting mist and definitely a good size look at number 10 looks huge something from olay it's their cleansing melt a daily facial cleanser number 11 is Oh, it's one of those triangle puffs that I use to put powders under my eyes. So these. 12 is, what's this? Whitening strips. Ooh. It's eight strips and four treatments. So to be honest, I do love the 12 days of beauty more than I love the 12 days of skincare. I just think things in the 12 days of beauty are more practical for me and I will use on a day to day. So I definitely, I definitely see the value in the 12 days of beauty, but I like both. All right guys, so we're all aware that this is the last day in Vlogtober. So I asked you to send me some questions, thoughts, things like that on Instagram. So I have a few. Thankful. Wait, is this a, what is this? Oh, I took your, ad instead of a question, she sent me a picture, but I can't let me screenshot and zoom because I can't see it. I took your advice and dressed up and went on a solo lunch date. I love that for you. So, hi Kim, why did you choose New Jersey? I kind of touched on this a little bit before I moved. So, I was telling you that I chose New Jersey because of the proximity to New York. I was obsessed with New York and New York was my first choice. I really wanted to move there. However, I think it's a little bit too pricey and I was really looking at Manhattan so very pricey for what i wanted and also the commute i had just gotten my car i didn't lease my car so it's not like i could just carry it in my car is mine so i wanted to i wanted to live somewhere where commute driving around would be easy accessible i know that in new york it's a majority it's mostly public transportation so what would i do with my car you know uh so that was it and i think I came to New Jersey back in May, I think, and I liked it here. I think I liked it. So I'm like, let me find something in Jersey. It's a little bit cheaper, still nice. And uh, New York is just a train ride away, a car drive away. So that's the reason for that. Are you now a full-time content creator? I know you used to work in Florida. That's a while ago. Correcto. I have been a full-time creator since 2022, I think, yeah. I've been a full-time YouTuber since 2022. I quit my job, I think, January 2022. And I've been doing YouTube full-time since then. This one says, I am a new YouTuber, but I'm wondering, do, you, do TikTokers make more than YouTubers? So, really good question. I want to know, because I don't know. I don't 
I am monetized on TikTok, but I don't take it as seriously. So I don't really know what the pay structure is over there. I don't know how much money they are bringing in over there. I don't know how it go. I, I do not know anything about the monetization aspect on TikTok in terms of earning potential. But I, well, let me say this. I do know you can earn good money over there. On YouTube though, you get paid based on ad revenue. So YouTube do those ads that you see running on the videos. And when it says skip, you skip. That YouTuber doesn't make any money. My videos, as much as you may love Kim and you watch Kim, you may think just watching equate to earnings it does not you have to be watching those ads so every time you every time you skip that ad i feel a pain in my side every single time you skip the ad i i every single time so i implore you to either platform you want to be on if you want to be on tiktok do what it takes to get monetized and try and see how much you can earn over there and do the same thing here on youtube the potential is endless it's limitless and that's what i love so yeah i can't really tell you much about tiktok but make sure your audience make sure they are watching the ads and big up crew please watch the ads to support that's how youtubers and it doesn't have to be me but your favorite youtuber that's how youtubers get paid uh from the user videos it's ad revenue how about rating your experiences like the cafe sounded like a 9 out of 10 can we see more free nj new york stuff that's a good idea that's a good idea i can do that so rate the places that i go from 1 to 10 done say less how do you feel about sharing things about your life with us on the internet i when I just started YouTube, I was just sharing everything. I was just open and all of that. Now, I'm a, I'm a little bit more reserved. However, I'm still, I love sharing my life with you. I love opening up. I love you coming along with me. I love it, to be honest. How are you adjusting to your new norm? I would say I'm doing really well with adjusting before i came to jersey i was i didn't know what my transition would look like and when i just came it was a little bit rocky but now that i'm exploring more i i feel enthused and excited about my transition so i'm embracing everything that comes with it like today i got that parking ticket I'm embracing everything that comes with it. It's all a learning curve for me. And I still have to give myself grace and realize that you are new. You're still new to the country. You're new to this environment. This person said, when you are comfy talking about it, things to consider before dating an older man. Um, hmm. I would say, to be honest, I've always said... With an age gap relationship, the most important thing is the love you have for each other. Everything is secondary to that. And that's just, that has was my stance, it still is. So it's not about anything else. It's about the love. Because once you love the person, you will compromise. You will align yourself with what it takes to make that relationship flourish. And... Uh, you will share experiences where one partner is maybe falling short you will lift them up for example if you're a younger person the younger person will want to go out more explore more they're new to things so they'll be more excited about things it's up to that older partner to embrace that give them grace let them experience a life that they've never experienced even though they already the older person already experienced it and also the younger person has to know this person is a bit more mature so this that or the third and every relationship is different if it's not age gap it's something else there's always moving parts in every relationship because there are two different people coming together learning each other trying to exist with each other so there will always be things that need to be ironed out however 
you have to be honest with yourself you have to be honest with your partner about your goals and about what you want for yourself and for your union as a whole but again I personally don't see age an age gap relationship as a deterrent I think it's just people there's nothing wrong with an age gap relationship they can thrive they can work they have worked so <clears throat> we have to realize that sometimes relationships do not work and take out the age gap out of it there are so many other relationships that do not work for whatever reason so when an age gap relationship fail it may not be because of the age gap it can be other moving parts it can be other things it can be the individuals themselves so many different um so many different things can occur but i as i said i think age gap relationships can work they can be filled with love and experiences and happiness and just exploration and adventure and so much niceness. So yeah, this is where I'm going to wrap this vlog for today. This is where I am officially closing off, signing out of Vlogtober 2024. If you were here from day one all the way up, if you joined me midway throughout, if you watch one or two videos. I appreciate you all thank you for riding through October and I'll see you guys in November love you guys and I'll see you when I, whoa I was going to say see you tomorrow but I'll see you when I see you bye guys